Okay, so uh, given the circumstances, I decided to chuck this up in my uh, lathe to see if um, the beam is actually uh, perpendicular to the body of the uh, tool and uh, find it's not over 12 inches it does vary quite a bit you can see that I have this well that there's a flat by the way on this body so that's what that indicates but I've got it within a thousandth everywhere else so it's definitely there's the flat if you can see it so it, it's it's definitely centered in the lathe and you can see the movement so that's the movement I see over my x-axis when I plug this thing in depending upon where I clamp it down if I clamp it down here that's where I start if I clamp it down here that's where I start and, and my x-axis is about three times the length of this so you can imagine the variation so this is definitely not good cost me a lot of time it's a tool I was going to rely on. I did all the alignment, uh, started the alignment in one position like this, and then later on the batteries went dead, whatever. And then I removed the uh, the batteries and replaced them, put the tool back in the uh, in the head, and who knows where I was? I was like here or here or here. Um, it's not repeatable, so that's not good. Uh, this thing should be dead nuts on all the time. Shouldn't have any variation in it at all. So what I'm going to do is contact uh, American Photonics, ask them if they can send me a new tool, one that is actually um, aligned in alignment. This is definitely no good. Absolutely no good. Well, that... Um, that's a little disconcerting because I put a lot, a lot of time and I've been working steady on this thing for about three days or four days now trying to get it all back together. This was a working laser, uh, but I did want to upgrade it. So, sorry about no tripod, but uh, I don't have any room. I got a bunch of junk here in my shop, so, but that's what it is. I, I was hoping I could get this test done before the batteries went dead. And, uh... Luckily, I did. So they can see this. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure I'm in contact with that. I'm in contact with that. Shows I'm in contact with it. Anyway, that's where the flat is. Anyway, so th this is no good. Absolutely no good. You got to wonder. I don't know if they test these things or not when they're, you know, in the factory. The flat is probably there for some manufacturing process uh, that I'm unaware of. So, but anyway, you can see I, I can see now why when I stick it in a tube, um, I don't get repeatable results. When I stick it in a tube, I remove it and then put it back in in the uh, 16 millimeter tube into the head. Um, I get unpredictable. Uh, results on the location of the dot on mirror 2 or near mirror 2. I'm trying to align to the axis as uh, Mr. Walker shows but uh, this is what I've come up with after two days of work. Alright, so I'm going to shut this down now.